What up, handsome heads? Welcome back to this thing. My name's Theo, and I certainly hope we're all having a lovely late winter bit. Hope we've all enjoyed our festive treats and so forth, if applicable. So, uh, yes, got a few more boxes to wrap up before we call time on this for a bit. But before we get into that, um, there's some stuff to finish off that I totally forgot about. So, a couple of videos ago, I had a uh, Flame Toys Starscream model kit to give away, and I completely forgot to tell you who won. So, let's do that. I've already done it, but I just forgot to tell you about it. So, the winner was... <laughs> Lee Bartleson, way. Enjoy it, mate. I hope you have a lovely time with it. Also, quick update on the uh, Siege Skywarp I was auctioning off for Cameron. Uh, didn't go perfectly. We had some bumps in the road, but uh, we did in the end make $88. So I think that's respectable. So huge thanks to everybody who did a bit on that. Good God, I need to iron this thing. I'm such a mess. Right? Look, what, what is this? Is this a style? Oh no, I've actually got a forehead now. Ugh. But uh, without further ado, let's tuck into some packages. Thank you very much. That's enough for now. I got more toys than I can fit in my house. So I feel like I should say like mega thanks to everybody who sent me something. But here's the problem. I was recounting uh, the stuff that I got this year so I can do the top 10 of 2019. And uh, turns out not counting knockoffs, not counting GoBots or aliens or anything else that I do, um, I got over 250 Transformers this year. <laughs> so you can see the position of it. I'm just rammed. There is no more space. The logistics are just unsustainable. We've got to, we've got to pause for a bit at least. Anyway, let's see what we have. <laughs> right, so we'll begin with uh, this little cheeky letter here, which I had to go to the sorting office and pick up and pay two quid for because uh, whoever sent it didn't put a stamp on. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> Better be worth it. So we have a letter and, uh, ooh, okay. Tasty uh, crayon colored in Skywarp there, very nice. Dear Thuius, Thuius Xiv, that's my uh, Sith Lord name. I hope this letter and artwork find you well. I absolutely love the content you produce, thank you. Could I ask you some questions about a certain black, silver, and purple fellow? Number one, how many Skywarps do you currently own? One, two, three, four. 354, 55, 56. 56. <laughs> That's a lot, isn't it? That's probably too many. If you had to choose a favorite one, what one would it be? I'd have to say probably Skywarp. Number three, why did you start collecting Skywarps? I don't know, I just like him. I think the fun thing about it is because everyone loves Starscream, he gets loads of toys all the time, which means they always do a Skywarp and uh, they always look nice. That's all it is. It's, I just like how they look. There's really nothing deeper to it. Number four, what was the first Skywarp that you got? I think it was this one. This was one of the first Transformers I got coming into collecting sort of 2006-ish. It's Classics uh, 2006 Skywarp. He comes in a two pack with Ultra Magnus, which I didn't get. I got him loose on eBay and I just really like him. I don't think I had any previously, like as a kid. So I got him and I was like, he's good, isn't he? So uh, then that happened. Whoops. It would be great if this was in a damn if open, but if it wasn't, I wouldn't mind. Well, it has been now. Your sincerely, Zachariah. Thank you, mate. I certainly hope this has been informative and that we can now consider the matter closed. If you wish to continue this matter, please next time put a stamp on. All right, next we have a uh, small package. It says contains Christmas, so uh, probably a good job we're still doing this within December. Look at this, we're catching up. No more April nonsense today. I feel like if I was gonna be true to the spirit of the show, I should leave this for at least seven or eight months. Come back to it in August. All right. <gasps> oh, festive. Compostable carrier bags. Read me, Thee You Move. Thee You More. Thee You Move. Like Theodore? I suppose? No idea. To the right honorable few Adams, MP for K on North. That's right. Merry Christmas, wishing you all the best for New Year. Hope the little guy behaves and remember they're for life, not just for Christmas. You haven't sent me a dog, have you? There's not like a hamster in here. Or just a ton of spiders. Included is a little bot and a Boxing Day Project repro labels for Siege Prime. Normal one, not fancy if you have it. Uh, I think I've got all the Siege Primes. I've got the Leader Galaxy one, the Voyager one, and the Cell Shaded repaint. Are there any others? Planned on sending a little bit of Kraken, but feared for its life during shipping, yeah. Best not to. <laughs> I can't believe, um, was it Mr. Gabotto sent me a bunch of Jack Daniels little miniatures? I can't believe they made it through. Your Scottish pal, Bob, off 2008 in a box. Oh, nice one. Well, thank you, Bobbo. Let's see what on earth you're talking about. <gasps> oh, no way. <laughs> it's a scrap list. Check you out, mate. Look at him. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, look at that. He's got like swirly mouth blender. God, that's kind of hypnotic, actually. Cool. <laughs> 
outside of us are going berserk, aren't they, right now? They've just subtly dropped the Quintesson that has the ho 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 flippy multi head thing. And uh, there was a Sharkticon multi pack with Rodimus as well. They're just going ape shit with the uh, tiny Collecto figures. That's pretty good, actually, isn't it? I love it. I need to get like 10,000 of these. That's it, because Scraplets, like Seekers, you can do maybe three or four. Sharkticons, up to 10. But Scraplets, they appear in their thousands. But I reckon just one will do it. He's adorable. Little buggish legs and giant alien head. Blech. I'm into it. I love this, can you tell? <laughs> and yes, Repro's, I think. Whoa, look at all this. So we have the Toy Hex set for Siege Voyager Prime, I reckon. <laughs> look at that, he's got um like Spark Plug and Chip Chase, and who's, is that Raul? Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, those are the, uh, I'm guessing those are smokestacks? Gotta be, oh, brilliant. What a neat little kit. Yes, what I'm planning to do in uh, 2020 is, uh, cause we're not gonna have much demo open going on, I'm gonna try and, Focus more on reviews, but I'm also gonna do a few more builds on that so we can have like unscripted banter time. Just settle into a little project and talk some nonsense, yeah? Beautiful, nice one, Bob. So we have a Siege Repro Kit and a Scraplet. What a treat. Ha-ra-ra. I'm gonna keep doing that. You can't not do it. My favorite Pokemon. I have to say, I appreciate the sustainable packing as well. Nice. Oh, I am 50. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, Bobby. Oh, oh, Bobby. Okay, next one has come from a certain Chad in America. That's a person named Chad, not the uh, 4chan stereotype. <laughs> Slightly rattly, something going on in there. How was your crimbo? Anyway, if you if you do crimbo, how was it? Did you have a nice time? I just went and hung out with my brother and my sister-in-law. Ate a lot of food and played some Super Monkey Ball. It was pretty lush. Also, on the way home, I bought Studio Series um, Dark of the Moon Megatron. He's all right. It's a weird creature. I'll do a video about it. Ooh, okay. <laughs> that is what my name is. Dear Theo. Hope you're well, long time fan, ever since my good friend Grim Lockdown showed me beat down for Grim Lockdown. Nice. Sadly, I have to lighten my overall load. Tried to sell off some excess, but sadly nobody bought. Oh, bummer. Thought these guys could make some interesting content for some Curses Unseal episode. Keep them, toss them, hand them off to someone who might like them. Your fan, Chad. P.S. One of them is not who they seem. Intrigue. Uh, we got a little thumbs up Skywarp. Brilliant. I assume it's Skywarp. Is there an uncolored white one? Ramjet, does that count? Might be quite nice to have just a plain white seeker or like a gray one, like human smoke in Mortal Kombat 3. So, looks like we've got some hot soldiers action on the go. <laughs> so we've got Cliff Jumper and Hubcap. This is the company who called their bumblebee Big Yellow Bee. And they've called Cliff Jumper Fly Over Mountain. That's fantastic. Are these the ones who are not who they seem? Whoops. Hello. Oh, okay. Bit weird. So we've got Cliff Jumper in the package. Uh, we've got a Lego Man Spike Art. Is that a thing? Is that the person who does the box art? What is that? There's a, there's a little icon of him here, but I don't know what that means. Uh, cheeky Titans Return Road Burn or Road Fire? I can never remember which one it is. Because one of them is from the Diatlas gang and it's either Road Fire or Road Burn. And this is Titans Return either Road Fire or <laughs> this guy. Flame Drive, Toasty Journey. There you go. Plus good old Titans Bumblebee. This one appears to have a custom head. Come on, you. Awkward rat bag. Is this a good, it's all right. Uh, yes, there he is. Titans Road Burn with Nice little cliff jumpery head. Not bad at all. Nice one, Chad. Gosh, two whole different cliff jumpers. <clears throat> Diff jumpers. Terrible. Uh, furthermore, we have. Ooh, cheeky bust of Optimus Prime. I am Optimus Prime. I'll put it with this. I am Optimus Prime. Oh, it's my whole life now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we also have a Hot Soldier's Iron Tin. Oh, very nice. Gosh, he looks decent, man. He's just perfect little tubby iron hide. Looking very seriously good. Roof accessory that I can't tell if he comes apart or if he's just, is it like a little bonus sled thing like uh, like the Masterpiece had? I don't know. And an ambulance of some description. Good old Ratchet. Looking very healthy. God, that is lush, man. Love a bit of Ratchet. He never gets any attention, does he? I feel like this is probably more of a almost deluxe one because I got the new age McCoy and he's very small. He's like totally like 
good, but Legion size. And this is more like um, Cyberverse Commander class size, I guess? Like, cause Siege Ratchet is a pretty big deluxe, but that is um, roughly shoulder height, I guess. I don't know, it's small, but chunky and good. Put it that way. Good stuff then, Chad, thank you very much. So we got um, Hot Soldiers, Ratchet and Ironhide, Iron Tin and Ambulance, Flippin' Flyover Mountain, and a couple of uh, Titans Return lads. And of course, the fella who claims to be Optimus Prime. I love it when Optimus Prime says what his name is. That's kind of what Optimus Prime does, isn't it? He shows up and says what his name is, and then he wins all the fighting. Anyway, a couple more little ones for this evening. I reckon this has come from the post. Good God, what a mighty flap. Dearest Sir Isaac Thewton, that's a new one. Oh, it's from Ben. Long ago, I gifted you a slightly knackered move or. Well, I've found his tail fin so you can reunite it with his arse end. Brilliant, I can fix his butt. I still miss the space shuttle. Same. It's a slightly sadder world now that the space shuttle's not around, isn't it? Anyway, you can now turn back to camera because this box is full of, hopefully, interesting robos to discover. Turn back to camera? Don't be giving me stage directions. P.S. Can you tell the wonderful viewers about our zine being available digitally? All right then. So, uh, yes, Ben works on a zine with some other folks called uh, the Refined Robot Co. I'll put their thing up here. So I guess you can download it digitally now. Pretty good, right? Oh, and the um, the TF Nation uh, comic book from a couple of years ago, the animated one, the sort of epilogue or continuation of season three, that's available to download now. So everyone can see it without having to import one or do it illegally. You can just go and get it now. That's really nice, I think. Ba -da 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 -da, little books from Ben. Yeah, I don't know what this is, man. Every time I see Ben, he's just, he's always got tons of these. He's always just Fleeing them out to passers by. Very strange move, very niche. Oh, flip. This has got to be the, um, Superion? The Revenge of the Fallen repaint of Energon Superion Maximus, was it called? They got like a slightly serious recolor for the movie, but, uh, the combined is basically two sets of repaints. But I've always enjoyed this lilac A10. What a strange, it, why is it the color of an earthworm? And this is a pretty classy little jet former as well, actually. Just a nice little scout class when that was a thing. Scout class um, Autobot jet, aerial bot style in a nice sort of gunmetal gray. Yes, yeah, so we've got the whole set in a bag there with, the, with all the gear and everything. Not bad indeed. Some manner of bumblebee? Don't quite recognize this one. It's got sort of stealth forcey stuff on it. Here we go, Dark of the Moon uh, Deluxe Bumblebee. All right then. Oh look, there he is. <laughs> Christ. Hello. Uh, we've got some tiny turbo changes. We've got a uh, sound wave, but in blue or purple, sort of navy indigo. Truly hideous plasticine Optimus Pro. <laughs> That's rubbish. And I guess this is yeah. <laughs> Failed mech tech weapon. <laughs> Why don't they ever work? This gun's actually designed exclusively for shooting baddies in the shin. All right, just checking my shelves, I can confirm I already have one of these. So let's do a few giveaway. Way. So please, uh, if you fancy a go on Revenge of the Fallen Superion, complete with accessories and instructions and so on, please do send an email to thewgiveaways at gmail.com uh, with just the word Superion in the subject line, nothing else. I don't want to hear your life story. I don't want you to try and charm me into giving you it. Just one word, Superion, nothing else, or you're disqualified, okay? And please do check out the uh, Refined Robot Co on the internet. They do really good photography and so on. And uh, some dynamite digibashes from our Umar as well. So please do go and give them some love. All right, let's wrap up this mother bitch. So that's one today. This is from uh, Sam Ford in Texas. The guy I can't hate from the Lone Star State. And it has got some toys in it. Shocker. Here we go, have some communication. My dearest Arethew Franklin. <laughs> I don't know if that works, but it's funny. In close, you will find several donations for your robot beat-em-ups. They're of subpar quality and shall destroy quite nicely. The second item is a book for your literary pleasure. It has come to my attention that you know how to read. Yes, I've been literate for 30... Five years now. You may or may not have directly inspired a passage. Do try to find it. With R-E-S-P-E-C-T, oh, oh. Tied that in, not bad. With respect, Sam. Very good, sir. Very classy gentleman. Yes, it is Freddery in it. Okay, what do we have then? So we've got a um what looks like Megatron or um Evasion Mode Optimus Prime's shotgun in baby blue. Very odd. What could it mean? Could it mean there's an evasion mode optimus in here? <laughs> yes, it could. Oh no! It's broken! We've got a chunk off. 
It's been pre-beat downed. Ooh, this is kind of cool though. It feels okay. The plastic feels all right, although evidently it isn't. That's where it's come off. We got one there and you got a snap-o. This bit is die cast, but this bit clearly is not. That does look pretty cool though, doesn't it? What is with the baby blue though? That is the opposite of badass. It looks like a super soaker. I am smelly must prime. Terrible. Oh, that's the worst thing I've ever done. And we also have a uh, massive Generations Night Beat, which has also been smashed a bit. Nice healthy gap there. Uh, oh God, this is rickety. My actual Night Beat broke itself, you know. My actual Generations Night Beat, one of its shoulders just came off. I don't even know what happened. It was just fine one day and then it's like, oh, sorry, falling to bits, mate, whoops. Oh no, <laughs> that's all right. That's just a joint popping out. Uh, shite beat. Why not? God, he's never gonna go back into car mode now. This is a nightmare. Bits popping off, transformation not working. You're killing me. Oh God, similar thing going on with the... Um... <laughs> this is lockdown, isn't it? You know, that don't feel too bad. There's a bit of metal in there. This isn't Peru kill, is it? No, don't be crazy. That's supposed to be good. This is just a knockoff deluxe lockdown. It's gotta be, yeah, feels flimsiest. I'm not gonna try it, cause I'll just wreck it. But we have an entire head with a gun on it. It's a bit creepy, in it? Ugh. Hello, Optimus Prime. I am the baddie. That does, is that what he said? I can't remember. That's his catchphrase, isn't it? Hello, I'm the baddie. I will be your adversary for today. He said that. Anyway, we have a book. Sam Ford, Spirit Sword. A powerful debut novel from an author to watch. Spirit Sword hums with adventure and excitement in a story world gone perilous. What a brilliant sentence. And that is from the New York Times. Mm, incredible. 13 year old Kale Tanner, excellent name, has always dreamed of finding adventure. When a spirit sword, the last of an ancient race of sentient weapons falls into his hands, adventure finds him. Wicked, thank you mate, I've got a book to read. Fancy that. I'm uh, reading through The Hobbit at the moment. It's, it's all right, I can see why people love it. It's good, but it's definitely a kid's bedtime book, isn't it? Like, how difficult is it to get to a full-length novel when you've got 13 main characters and you have to name them all every time? Into the Grand Hall walked Gandalf, then Thorin, then Bilbo, then Dorin, Nori, Ori, Feely, Keely, Bomber, Biffer, Bofer, Oin and Gloin and Thrain and Frain and Gloobly, Doobly, Wobbly, Babbly, Boo. That's Tolkien. Rimbly, Bombly, Dwarfity, Boo just for hours. So yes, I shall have a look at this in my own damn time. Thank you very much. Spirit Sword by Sam Ford. Check it out. And we have some knockoff Micro Masters. Um, uh, kind of recognize this guy, but can't think of his name. Little dune buggy fellow. That is, uh, what's his name? Anselmo or something? A boat. I should recognize that. I, I do recognize it, but I don't know what his name is. And a Micro Master alike of some kind. And a hovercraft. God, that's minging. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> sea sprays idiot brother. Always nice to see whatever weird knockoffs you guys have got. Gotta be a Sir Toys jobby, I reckon. Oh, mate, not bad at all then. So we got a giant knockoff lockdown. It's kind of nasty though, right? I do kind of like this on some level. It's just a big baddie car. And he's gonna get you. Horrible night beat and uh, weirdly good seeming, but evidently not good evasion mode Optimus Prime. And a book. So thank you, Sam. That's a nice balance of actually good stuff that I'll enjoy and uh, a load of dog shit that I'll hate. And I reckon that'll probably do us for the moment. We'll do like maybe two more of these and then we'll knock it on the head for a bit at least. But for the meantime, thank you very much, Sam. And thank you to Ben of the Refined Robot Co. Uh, Bob, uh, Zachariah. And to Chad as well. Nice one, my friend. So farewell for now and I'll catch you very soon indeed. Mm, peace. <laughs> Random Bedroom Journal! Okay, thanks for watching, guy. Good of you to join me. And big patrony bro fists to uh, Prime Destroy It. Is that right? Destroy It? That's what it says. But thank you anyway, legend. Toodles! Be sure to subscribe for more Thews Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.